Dear ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. I hope that all of you are doing well. I'm Dominic Blattner, the ITTF High Performance Manager, and I'm very happy and proud to warmly welcome all of you to our 18th ITTF High Performance and Development webinar with the topics Habit of a Rising Star. I want to talk uh, shortly about our new platform, Bluetooth, and the, the webinar code. So just uh, the panelists' micro and webcam will be on. And please leave all your questions in the question and answer section, and we will try to answer as many as possible in the question and answer part of the webinar. So thank you very much. And over to the introduction of our panelists for today. I would like to warmly welcome very humble and successful athletes, starting with Nina Mittelhand from Germany. She is the European champion 2018 in women's doubles. She is the winner at the 2019 European Games in the women's team, the quarter finalist at the 2019 ITTF Europe Top 16, and the multiple European youth champion in women's singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. Over to Darko Jorgic from Slovenia. He is the runner up at the 2020 ITTF Europe Top 16 the bronze medalist at the 2017 European Team Championship and uh, the winner of the German First Bundesliga 2020, last but not least also European Under-21 and Youth Champion in Men's Doubles. Over to Pritika Pava from France. She is the European Under-21 Champion 2020 in the Women's Singers. The, and furthermore, she is also a multiple European youth champion in women's doubles, teams, and mid doubles. Last but not least, I would also like to warmly welcome Horacio Cifuentes from Argentina. He is the runner up at the 2019 Pan American Games in men's doubles and teams, and the winner at the 2019 ITTF World Tour under 21 men's singers in Spain and Paraguay. So thank you very much to all of you for taking the time. It's nice to hear and see you. And now I would also like to warmly welcome our well-known ITTF High Performance Elite Coach, Massimo Costantini. So pass over to you, Max. Thank you very much, Dominic, and welcome to all of you to this uh, new platform, uh, old kind of webinar uh, hosting the Stars, champions, uh, this young champion, very impressive, very impressive results, guys, unbelievable. Congratulations to all of you, unbelievable. Wonderful, wonderful. So I think you have a lot of things to share with us and uh, give a lot of uh, insight, uh, advice, uh, inputs uh, to our uh, coaches, uh, attendees, uh, players are online in this moment and later on, on uh, on uh, YouTube, um, I would start, guys, with uh, with a simple question. Uh, we can start uh, from uh, Darko. Uh, first of all, how 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 and where are you at the moment? Yeah, first, hello everybody. Uh, right now, I'm in Germany, preparing for the new season with my club. Uh, I don't know. Uh, league will start soon, but international tournament we still wait for. So yeah, I'm just in Germany preparing for the new league. Nina, it's also you in Germany, right? Yes, for me it's the same. I mean, I'm German and we are preparing in Düsseldorf in our center and yeah, we are also just waiting for the next competitions and then we will see well, when we can start normal again. Pritika? Yes, uh, hello everybody. I am in France and uh, right now but Right now, I'm in a training camp in Paris. So yeah, we wait uh, also the the next tournament. And yeah. okay, Horacio, you you in Argentina, I guess. Yes, yes, I'm in Argentina now. now. Very good uh, morning, by the way. Two or three weeks, I go to Europe. Uh, yes, good morning. <laughs> I wait thirty minutes I go. <laughs> okay, and two or three weeks ago. Maybe some uh, some uh, connection problems anyway. Um, let's Maybe. keep going. 
Ah, oh, you're back. <laughs> so, so let's start from Orazio there, actually, if we can. Uh, when and where did you start playing table tennis? And they go back, uh, Orazio, uh, Pitika, Nina, and Darko. Okay. Me. I started in 2009, 10 years ago, in my city, Buenos Aires. Maybe some delay, you know? Yeah, there is some uh, some some connection. Uh, anyway, maybe we can uh, uh, we can pass to uh, to Pritika. Pritika. When and where did you start playing table tennis? Uh, I started table tennis uh, at seven years old, and uh, it was in my city, in uh, in Le Bourget, near to Paris. And start immediately winning, right? Or uh, you you wait for some time <laughs> no. before winning? <laughs> no, no, before uh, I lost, and then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nina. Uh, yes, I also started when I was nine years old, uh, also in my hometown near Düsseldorf. Yeah, it was just lucky that I came to table tennis, so it was not planned. <laughs> okay. Darko, also you start early, eight, eight, nine years old, when? No, I was actually five years old when I started to practice. Ah, okay, five. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in my hometown, Hrasnik. Uh, in Slovenia, yes. Yeah. So I was quite young. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, I think Dominic, you have a couple of questions for them, right? Yeah, thank you very much, Massimo. And uh, I would like to start now again from uh, Dako. Dako, uh, how did it come that you choose table tennis? Uh, did any one of your family member play it? Actually, nobody from my play, uh, family was playing table tennis. Uh, I was in same kindergarten with son of my coach, and he just invited me like to come and practice first to see, of course, not only directly to practice. And yeah, it come like this, you know. And from this time, I started to to love this ball and this racket. And from this time, I I live just for table tennis. Okay, yeah, because I, I do know your village and, and I think this was really lucky that you you, are, you went there with the, the coat of the sun because I know it's not that big, the village. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah. true. And uh, what, what about you? <laughs> what about you, uh, Nina? Um, how, how, how did you come to table tennis and, and or did any one of your family member play? As I said before, it's lucky that I played table tennis before I was playing football together with my brother. And then he was stopping and started to play table tennis. And he just catched me and said, yeah, you can come with me if you want. And then I started also to play and yeah, I liked it. So I was continuing table tennis and stopping football. Great, great that you, you changed to table tennis. Great for the table tennis part. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, what about you, Pritika? Uh, yes, my father played in India, and then when my parents came uh, in France, first the first to play it was my brother, and then I started, and now my little sister also plays. Hey, thank you. May I ask you how how was the level of your father in India? Um, he was he played uh, in in his city, so normal. Okay. We can see Pondicherry, okay. right? You from yes. Pondicherry? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and what what about you, Horacio? Uh, I'm the first one in the family to play uh, because only three clubs in all Buenos Aires. Now it's uh, 
uh, here is only fudor, you know. Uh, and your partner to one um, 11 years, I, I checked more. Okay, so it seems that it was quite a, a big coincidence that in your city you you table tennis, but also also great and also great for Latin America to have uh, role models like you. And uh, over to the next question, I would like to start now with the women. Um, Nina, uh, how did your uh, childhood in relation to table tennis look like? I mean, you mentioned that you've you've played uh, soccer. Uh, football before. So, how, how did you did you grow up with table tennis? How much did you play this and so on? Um, I would like to say that I at the beginning I was not practicing so much. I was practicing twice or three times per week. Um, and then I think after one year I really started to practice every day. And then I yeah always had to go from school direct to practice. My dad picked me up and I was eating in the car, so I had not so much free time. But I would yeah, say that I really enjoyed it and I had a lot of fun. And yeah, it's a different life than normal kids have right now, but I would not change it right now. Great to hear. And I think also, the, how to say, that's maybe one of the reasons why why you are you were able to, to reach your position. You know the top, you know. And uh, what about what about you, Pritika? How did your childhood in relation to table tennis look like? I mean, you are still young, but I mean, when you were younger. Uh, when I was younger, I played, uh, yeah, just a little bit after after the school, uh, one time I think uh, per day, and then uh, after I played many tournaments, and then I started to play every day. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, what about you, Taco? Yeah, uh, I put it uh, table tennis in first place quite fast. I can say after one and a half year, I already won my first tournament. So yeah, but uh, at the beginning was hard, of course. I was not practicing so much. Also, three, four times per week. Then after one, two years, I was starting to practice every day. And yeah, uh, like Nina said, uh, I was not also like other kids. Uh, I was just moving from the school uh, to the practice and then again a uh, little bit for the school. So yeah, it was like, but like she said also, I enjoy it and uh, I will never change this. Of course, it's quite tough, but uh, in this moment, if you want it, then, then you also like it. And I, I do think that, as you mentioned, all of you liked it, so so it's a great moment for everybody. But uh, did you did you practice in your village in Rasnik all, all your childhood or did you move somewhere in a school? I was practicing in Rasnik uh, 10 years. When I when I was 15, then I moved from Rasnik. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, I would like to pass over to you, Massimo, for the next question. Yeah, uh, the question, next question, we start again from Darko, so we go uh, again uh, back, uh, uh, talking about the preparation, you know, in this uh, in this uh, hard time, and, uh, you know, um, now you, you are preparing the, the, the league starting quite soon, so how, how, and we all, of course, we all do miss the, the, the competition, the regular, uh, regular uh, calendar, let's say. So how uh, are you preparing yourself in this uh, in this time? Uh, let's say to stay in a good uh, good shape and rhythm, and uh, yeah, keeping the same feeling. Let's say how how is the preparation? Uh, yes, like I said before, uh, our league starts soon in two weeks. So yeah, I'm preparing quite well, uh, even more like before. 
because we need to be of course in a good shape for uh, for the beginning uh, and yeah uh, like i said uh, a lot of practice uh, twice per day uh, also physical preparation so uh, yeah i mean uh, now it's hard situation for everybody and we need to stay focused and just for to practice a lot yeah i can understand uh pritika how 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 about you uh now uh, i have a training camp so i can practice and before we we had already two training camp with the french team so i wait uh, the tournament i don't i don't know if we will have uh, more competition in france or or no so i'm waiting and i try to stay uh, focused in my practice uh, to progress uh, in with my physical so yeah i stay focused so maybe try also something new or uh, because uh, you know the having uh, not too much to prepare tactically let's yeah. say maybe yeah. maybe it's good it's a good time you know i don't know to develop uh, serves or something else uh, i mean uh, uh, i guess uh, yeah. you are doing something like that uh yes of course i try to change uh, some things in my game to to be uh, better for the next tournament Okay, I can't wait to see you next time. How about you, Nina? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, at the beginning, I was not playing so much table tennis. I was doing more physical practice. But now, as Dark said, uh, soon our league will also start. So we are starting to play more matches in the practice. Um, yeah, we are changing more often, like that we are playing matches against different more, players and not always against the same so more tactical you mean yeah more tactical yes yeah how to no. come back to to games at all i mean now we are practicing since many months and yeah we are not feeling the competition really so it's difficult now to came back but uh, yeah i think step by step it's going better yeah but keep keep the body strong is uh, yes. important. Uh, Horacio, how is the connection uh, uh, over there? How about you? <laughs> so we still have problems. Yeah, we still have we I still have some problems. This is uh, <laughs> well, well, we'll try, we'll try, we we'll keep this question, uh, we we'll keep this question and then uh, uh, we'll, let's put one, uh, one note and then we can uh, keep going. Uh, Dominic, uh, you have a, you have another question for them, right? Yeah. I would like to start now as Horacio connection is unfortunately not not uh, really well working at the moment uh, with uh, Pritika. Uh, of course, you have to be also now a little bit careful because you are still quite young. And when thinking about the practices within your youth age, your young age, what what did you like the most? And uh, we are also interested in what you dislike the most within the practices. I know your coaches will also listen now, so be careful with your answer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, uh, to be honest, I like uh, the, the most in the training, I like uh, when we have to put service or receive when the game is, uh, is open. And, uh, but uh, I also did uh, uh, physical uh, exercise with uh, some placement uh, when I have to move. Um, yeah, I don't like so much this kind of exercise, but I try to improve. I hope that a lot of the young athletes listen to your uh, to your statement because the surf and the physical things are one of the most important things and great that you you already have this uh, thinking, you know? 
And uh, what about you, Mina? Uh, what, what did you like the most and dislike the most? Yeah, for sure, I like the most yeah, to play matches. Uh, I enjoy it. I like it more than to practice hard all the time. But yeah, in the last few years, I learned also that practice is really important. So now I also can stay in high focus, like all practice. But for me, it's also like Patricia, like service first ball, something like this uh, is what I like most. And when it comes to long rallies, uh, yeah, it's difficult for me. So I just like this the most. <laughs> okay. So competition stands for you at the top. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and, and what about you, Darko? Uh, I'm same like Nina. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't like to practice so much when I was young also. Uh, I was always trying just to play matches also and on um, practice. My coach was always pissed on me, try to be focused, try this, try this, but I was not so much, I can say. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, now when I'm a little bit older, I, I'm thinking a little bit different way. And of course, uh, practice is mo most important now to, to improve yourself. Okay, thank you very much, Darko. And uh, now let's try again for us here and we turn off. Maybe the connection is now Better, Horacio, what, what did you like the most and what did you dislike the most when you were young in the practice? Okay, in table tennis, the, the most I like is in the competition, you know. Uh, I, I like playing a lot. I, I don't like too much training or practice, um, but I know it's, it's very important to improve. Um, but I don't like nothing in this sport. I love it. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, we are real competitors, as it seems. And uh, also now we realize that for us, your, your connection is much better. So we will stay uh, with a uh, turned off video. So thank you very much. And pass over to you, Mark, for the next question. Well, I, I, can I go one second behind? Uh, uh, when I was a player, I liked when I win the point. I didn't like when I lose the point, but this is another story anyway. <laughs> so uh, I have, uh, well, let's, let's say uh, we all are professional, uh, you know, players, and then we are. When you guys start thinking, you know, that table tennis is uh, is is uh, is a professional is a professional activity. Nina, I would like to say, yeah, it's not just like one moment when I decided uh -huh. I want to be a professional. It's like a long process. Uh, when I was young, I was winning youth European Youth Championships and cadets and after and juniors, and then I realized really that yeah, I like it. I want to play like table tennis as my work. So yeah, it just came and I realized I like it. I want to continue with playing table tennis as long as possible. And yeah, that's, that's the way. True, important to win early, let's say. Darko, don't, don't say again like Nina. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to. No. It was like uh, when I was still cadet, when I went for the first international tournament, I won some medals. And uh, yeah, uh, there I realized that I can play a little bit uh, more professional table tennis uh, in the future. And also my coach, she said, and uh, yeah, I was just fighting and trying and she was right. Good. Ritika? Good. Yeah, for me it's the same. Uh, when I won some tournament, I realized that I love it and I want I wanted to to continue in the future. So yeah. okay, uh, again, the, the the winning is is a good uh, good motivation. Let's say like that. <laughs> Horacio, you you back now with your uh, connection, better connection. Yes, without video. Now it's okay. Yeah, without video, we, we, yeah. we miss you. We will, put, we will put the picture somewhere. No, no issue. 
<laughs> well, for me, I think when I was 17 or 18, I is my first clubs, you know, my first seasons because in Argentina we don't have uh, league or or some tournaments. So at, at this stage, I decide to 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 be professional player. Okay, good, good. Dominic, something uh, you have individual now, I guess. Uh, back to you, Dominic. Yeah, thank you very much, Massimo. And it's very individual. It's individual question for Darko. Darko, you are not that far from the top of the top, I would say. What do you think that you need for getting in the Olympus of table tennis? I think I need to improve my my first balls, my service, and uh, these small things. Uh, I'm always losing points here, uh, receive service, uh, first push, and these things. So I think I need to improve this and my forehand uh, forehand side also a little bit. But I think it's getting better and better. So I hope soon I will be there. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, pass over to you, Max, again. Yeah, again, general uh, general question. Uh, was it uh, for you hard decision to almost uh, give up a normal childhood? Uh, I don't know, but to live on the other hand with some comforts which you can uh, just get as an athlete in this age. So uh, tell us a, a, a little bit more on this. Nina, start from you again. Uh, for me, it was yeah, it was a really easy decision. I was 12, I guess, when I went to the boarding school in Düsseldorf. And yeah, I just love to play table tennis, to compete with other people and always yeah, to improve, to get better. And I was not realizing that I'm yeah, not a normal child who's not doing a normal childhood. So it was just coming and I just yeah did what I wanted, what I liked to do, and I was not missing everything. So when I get older, I realized, oh, maybe I forgot to spend so much time with my friends, but luckily they are still there, so I'm fine with it. Good, good, good. Horacio. Horacio. Not there. Ritika? Yes, sport, uh, sport life is, uh, is uh, some, you know, uh, it's, uh, it requires some sacrifice, we know. Uh, but also on the other side, we have uh, a lot of uh, gratification, let's say. Yeah, Ritika, how about you? Uh, just can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, what, I mean, was it for you a hard decision to almost give up a normal childhood? Uh, you know, know, staying with friends, uh, having, you know, um, yeah. I don't know, I mean, just uh, more time with, uh, with the family because this, this life is uh, traveling a lot, uh, having a lot of training yeah. camps uh, and going there and there, competition, you know, it's uh, missing something in your uh, childhood. Yeah. Yeah. What is your, your, uh, your thought about that? Uh, I don't know. I I know that I want to play, so uh, yeah I I do uh, yeah many sacrifices, so yeah I don't know I just uh, I love it so I know that so I will was... not have many friends but it was okay for me. <laughs> <laughs> the table tennis is your best friend. We 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 that we understood. <laughs> <laughs> Darko. Yeah, for me it was hard to be uh, far from my family, from uh, some of my good friends, of course. Uh, I was sometimes also jealous of my friends because they were out. I was uh, doing uh, something for school, then I went to the practice. But uh, yeah, when I grow a little bit up, then I realize it's, it, it's very important for me. Uh, and just somehow I forgot these things. Good. Uh, Dominic, 
I think we have a problem with uh, with um, Horacio again. So let's go ahead, Dominic. Uh, back to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, unfortunately, the connection for Horacio dropped entirely. But uh, nevertheless, we will go on with the next question. And uh, we also can combine this question now with, uh, with a question from Henrique from Brazil, which I wrote in the question and answer section. Um, I would like to start now with uh, Daco. Daco, uh, how did you combine your career with your educational career? Uh, it was very hard, I can say. Uh because uh, of course uh, professional athletes they are somewhere always somewhere on tournament and they need to also focus of uh, of education of course it's important but uh, yeah i'm still trying to finish my school i have few exams more and uh, yeah i hope so i will uh, finish soon as possible so oh, thanks for the insights and all all the best for your remaining times thank you and uh, what about you, Kritika? I, mean, I have to ask you the question a little bit in a different way. How do you combine your table tennis career with your educational career? Uh, I think in France it's easier because we have a very good organization. Uh, I am in Linsef, so the the hours of school and for the practice are are good. And uh, yeah, uh, the night I try to to do my homework, and during the the day I I'm focused on the training. And... Okay, thank you very much. And Nina, what about you? I I know that you are also quite successful within your educational career. Uh, how did you combine your table tennis career with it? Okay, I was in the internet in Düsseldorf, so yeah, I could practice in the morning, like the first two lessons from school, and also afternoon we had yeah free from school. We could practice. We were yeah we didn't we didn't have to go to school all the time. So and I was lucky that I could make the last two school years and three years, so I had a little bit more time for it. But still, I was missing more than 50% from school time. But I just happy that I, yeah, got my education from school and I finished it. And now I have every opportunity, so I'm fine with this. That. Great, congratulations for passing all the tests. And uh, I would like to pass over to you, Max. I think that you do have an individual question now for our French lady, right? Yeah, Pritika. Ritika, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready? Look at me, look at me. Are you ready? Okay, no, I forget that. Uh, you are already a world-class uh, athlete, under 21 European champion. And, uh, but how do you see the top of the tops, you know, the, the top players, I don't know, you should learn. What is your feeling when you, when you see, uh, when you watch them playing? Uh, I think it will be hard to to beat them. <laughs> uh, to beat them, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. they are starting to be sense, afraid of you, I know. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I try in my side <laughs> to improve and, uh, yeah, I, sometimes I look, uh, I saw some matches and I, yeah, I, I learn, uh, some skills or some, some something. Are you watching a lot of videos of them when, uh, especially during this time? Uh, not especially during this time, but when the competition, when uh, there were some competition, I yeah, I saw many many matches. All right, good, thank you, Dominic. Back to you. Thank you very much, Massimo. Uh, and I would like to, to stay with Pritika. Uh, Pritika, uh, when you are thinking about uh, the preparation of the practice, are there any usual habits, routines you do have before going to a practice? No, I don't have 
special routine. Um, no, uh, I just try to to do. Uh, no, oh, no, I don't have any. <laughs> okay, okay. Just, just looking forward to each practice. Okay, that's also a good yeah. answer. <laughs> good, thank you. What about you, Darko? Do you have any special routines, habits before the practice? Yeah, I'm a little bit older than Pritika, so I like to sleep after first practice, <laughs> before second practice. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is one special routine what I have. And uh, okay, of course, not uh, two, one hour before the practice. So I wake up a little bit earlier to, to be focused on second practice. And uh, yeah, this is one routine what I have. Okay, thank you. And uh, Nina, do you also have any routine? Yeah, I have one routine. <laughs> I'm always checking my bag before I go to practice if I have everything. Because once I forgot my racket and that was not so good. So since then I'm always checking if I have my racket, my shoes, yeah, and the towel and then I'm fine. Okay. It seems that in the past you had to run maybe some some rounds or on the field, no? When you forgot no, something. I was lucky until now not, but maybe in the future if it happens again. Okay. Thank you, and I see now Horacio is back. Horacio, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I have some oh, problems here, you. sorry. Yeah, no problem, but now your connection seems to be quite well. Um, do you, I would like to ask you also this question. Uh, do you have any usual routines or habits before you go to a practice? Mm, normally not, uh, just, I, I wake up two hours before practice and okay in the afternoon always after it I like to sleep a little bit but no no more only this okay thank you very much and and then over to I would also like to stay for the next question with Horacio this time um, but when you are thinking about the, you know preparing a match Horacio. Are there any special habits or routines you do have before a match? Um, I like see some videos from the guy I I, I play right from the opponents. Uh, I I I want to see his abilities, you know, uh, if he plays very good on forehand or backhand, uh, and then I I. I I go to the match with one idea, you know. Okay, so your preparation is more about the the tactical the tactical part. Okay. Yes. yes. Thank you very much, Horacio. And uh, what, what about you, Nina? Are there any special habits routines you do have when preparing a match? Um, yes, but just for warming up, I always play like one footwork exercise that I get warm. And maybe it sounds strange, but I'm never playing service free before the match. Uh, I don't like it because I'm losing my focus. So I want to keep my focus high. So I'm just starting this in the match. Yeah, that's special. But, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Thank you very much. It's, it's not bad. You must be special if you want to reach the top. So this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what about you, Dako? Yeah, I like to uh, to play uh, exercise two two, uh, but not with footwork, uh, with forehand, with backhand, <laughs> normal. Uh, yes, uh, but also, <laughs> but I also like to check some videos before the match to speak with some uh, some other opponents uh, about this player, uh, and yeah, that's that's my routines. Are there any also maybe special warm-up routines you do have, Darko? Actually, I don't warm up so much. Uh, so uh, I'm a little bit special also before practice. Uh, I never warm up so much. I'm just a little bit, five to, to seven minutes, uh, just a little bit really, and uh, then I directly play. Okay, thank you, Darko. And last but not least, Pritika. Uh, yes, I like also to see some videos of my opponent to see a, a strong point or a weakness. And then after I can have a plan for the match. And, uh, 
then I I do a good warm up and I go to the match. Okay, thank you very much, Pritika. And I would like to pass over to Max again for the next individual question. Uh, yeah, well, I would stay a little bit uh, uh, more on the habits, you know, because we were talking about the, the training, the, the, the competition, but what, how about the post, post match? Well, what well, is, uh, okay, winning, losing, we, we, we know that uh, starting with the Darko this time, uh, post match, you just forget, uh, you just rush and uh, watch the video. Or you, I don't know, you want to go, okay, I want to go to sleep, I don't want to talk with anybody. What, what, what's coming after the match? Uh, actually, if I lose my match, I, I, I'm very pissed. Then I just move to my room and uh, after 30 minutes, I maybe speak with, uh, with my coach about uh, my, my tactical uh, fails and everything. But if I win, then I stay with my coach, speak about this match a little bit, and of course to prepare for next match. Uh, and but after, if I have few 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 hours before second match, I like to go to the room, take a shower, take a little bit nap, and uh, yeah, that's my routine after the match also. Okay, so very clear message to our attendees. If Darko loses, don't talk to him 30 minutes. He will not be there for anybody. Uh, just a clear message. Yes, so I think everybody <laughs> knows it. It happens happen very rarely, so I mean. <laughs> How about you, Nina? <laughs> I would say um, yeah, a little bit similar like Darko. When I'm losing, like, yeah. A close match, they are also pissed and normally I doesn't want to speak about it directly. I need some time to realize what happened, what I played, what was good, what was bad. And yeah, when I'm winning, for sure, you're always happy normally. So yeah, I would say at all I'm happy person. So yeah, you can make jokes with me and I'm fine. <laughs> Horacio, are you there? Yes. Is there? How about you? And me, if I lose, I, I don't piss too much. Uh, uh, you you can talk me talk to me after match directly. No problem. It for is me. possible. Thank you. Yeah, for me it's, it's okay. <laughs> um, and after the match, I like uh, talk with my coach or. Also, with the coffee or something, some fruit, you know, to to recover, you know. Okay. Good. So we have uh, again uh, Pritika. Uh, yeah, it's the same for me. If I lost, I need uh, some time before to talk with my coach. I think. And uh, if I won, uh, yeah, we can also directly uh, talk about uh, the match. And uh, after my match, I also uh, ate something to be uh, to be ready for the next match. And yeah. Good, good. Thank you. Now I have a question, uh, individual question, which actually Nina already already said something before. Uh, so he he, he uh, she. Uh, spoiled my question, but anyway, I want to I want to ask you. Technical speaking, uh, would you give more importance to finishing the ball as soon as you can, or having great consistency? You already answer honestly. <laughs> yeah, like, for me, it's better to finish the point with the first two balls. Um, that's also like my favorite points or balls I like to practice to play. Um, yeah, when it's going into the rallies, uh, it's always looking better for the outside, but for me, I'm not feeling so safe there. So I'm enjoying it, but I would say the focus should be more on first and second ball for me. So. But I want to add one one thing. Okay, so we have a, a good skills and not so good skills. So how, how much time we give to the good skills and how much time we give to the uh, weak area, let's say. So the, the, the second, third ball, very important for you. 
and you are very much skilled on it and uh, you give the same amount of time or uh, maybe more or less uh, what what, uh, what what is this, this thing uh, it's interesting thing actually right now i'm practicing more the rallies like maybe yeah 70 80 person on rallies and just 20 30 persons on yeah what i play good um because okay. i need to improve the other part of the game and but when it's getting like closer to competitions i'm also starting to practice more first and second ball to get better feeling for myself to get self-confidence and yeah that i'm used to it what i play and that i can yeah, improve also my game in the matches good very good thank you thank you very much and uh back to dominic Thank you very much, Massimo. And uh, this is a very interesting question, and I'm very curious about your answers. And I would like to, to stay with Mina. Mina, if you would uh, give a percentage to the four main pillars of the performance, uh, the technique, tactics, fitness, and psychology, how would you divide the 100%? Mm, I think I would give psychology like 40%. Because I think it's the most important part in table tennis. It's a really, yeah, interesting sport which is decided by the head, and the rest, yeah, I would give like similar, like about twenty percent. So, yeah. So forty, twenty, twenty, twenty. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Thank you very much, Nina. And uh, what about you, Horacio? Um. Okay. I think it's the same. I, uh, I think psychology is, is the more important thing. So I will put 35% uh, 30% psychology after tactics and techniques and the last one is physical. Okay. Thank you. What about you, Daco? I would say uh, also fitness 10%. Other things I will put uh, psychology, uh, technical and tactical, 30% uh, each. So, uh, yeah, I think this is also the most important things in table tennis, not so much physical preparation. Okay. And uh, Pritika, do you also have the same opinion like them? Uh, yeah, for me, uh, psychology, I will put uh, 30%. Uh, tactics uh, also 30 and then uh, 20 and 20 for the techniques and the physical. Okay, thank you very much. And now I would like uh, to ask uh, Horacio uh, an individual question. Horacio, uh, your looks to be a very, a very good place to train and to improve one's level, yeah? How do you balance your training and your, and your competition Coming and going to Argentina. Um, I don't understand the question. Can you repeat? Yeah, because uh, you do practice in a lot of the time in, in Europe. How do you manage it to, to travel all the time to Argentina and back to Europe? Is it exhausting for you or, or how, how, how does it look like your, your practice schedule? Yes, normally I go Europe three or four months, September to December, and then I, I go to Christmas and New Year. And the first week of January I go Europe again. Um, it, it's hard, yes. Uh, I, always I, I miss my friends or my parents. Uh, but okay, it's, this is life and I, I choose. Mm, and now I, I want to be a better player, you know, so I need to practice in Europe. Okay, thank you very much for giving us this insight. And uh, now it's time for the question and answer part of the web. And uh, I would like to, to start with the, with the first question. It's from Juan Pablo Parra. Um, I would like to start now with Daco. Uh, 
uh, I mean, maybe it's still far away, you know, but uh, are you thinking to stay in touch with, with table tennis, maybe as a coach or a manager after your career? Yeah, I hope so. I like this table tennis. I love this table tennis. So I would like to be, when I finish my career, professional career, I would like to be a coach and I would like to stay in table tennis uh, like in the future also. A okay, great and clear statement. Thank you very much. What about you, Nina? Would you like to stay in table tennis afterwards? Uh, I really have to say no. I mean, I like table tennis and I enjoy the time, but when I finish my career, I I want like a normal life. So I want to study, to work, and yeah, to get a little bit outside of table tennis. Maybe I will continue playing in Bundesliga or something like this. But uh, definitely doesn't want to be a coach. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, I know, Pritika, for you it's very, very far away. But what about you, Pritika? Uh, yeah, I think I want also to go outside of the table tennis. I think I want to be uh, to do uh, another thing. I don't know what for the moment, but. Uh, Okay, but you, you still have time to decide. You, you, yeah. you will have hopefully a long career. <laughs> and uh, what about you, Horacio? Would you like to, to be maybe a future coach or manager in table tennis? Um, very good question, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think about it. Um, but for sure, I don't imagine one, one life without table tennis. So for sure, Maybe coach or maybe some, I don't know, <laughs> some politics. I don't know. I like politics. So um, <laughs> for sure, I will be in the sport. Okay. Great to hear. And uh, pass over to you, Max, for the next question from our attendees. Yeah, I am also an attendee. So I have a question for you uh, before also giving other uh, um, what are your your future goals, Nina? Um, yeah, I want to be as good as possible. Um, I really would like to compete in the Olympic Games. Um, yeah, that's my biggest goal. But for sure, to be in top 20 player in the world would be also a nice goal for me. Top 20? Top 10, I would say top 10, but anyway, okay. top 20 is fine. <laughs> Darko? Uh, yeah, of course, I would like to, to be as soon as possible a top 20 player in the world. Uh, also to improve uh, my uh, like skills in table tennis and to, to become uh, number one also one day in, uh, in Europe. And of course, also to win a medal on Olympic Games. Very good. Pritika? Um, in the future, I want to to reach a very good ranking in, in the world, uh, in senior. And yeah, I want to to win uh, the big tournament like the, the World Championship or the, the Olympics. But uh, I have uh, many steps before to, to, to reach this. Uh, this objective. Okay, and last uh, but not least, Horacio, where do you want to go? Um, my first goal is play Tokyo uh, or some or the next one, or the next one, uh, Olympic Games, and for sure uh, improve my ranking. Okay, good. I have a, so now uh, that was my question. Uh, so uh, I have uh, um, this question from uh, from uh, Yasna um, to all of you. Uh, now that you are already uh, developed athletes with already great results in your early career, what do you think would be the best age to start uh, playing table tennis? Let's start from the youngest. Ritika, what do you think? 
What is the best aid? Uh, I think there is not a best age, but uh, I don't know, around the maybe uh, seven or the earliest possible, I don't know. <laughs> okay, Nina? Uh, I would say there's also like no age, like for starting table tennis, like special, but I think it's really important to do sports as soon as possible, as young as possible. Doesn't matter which one, just that you are going outside to play with balls to get this feeling. And when you have this coordination, it's easier, yeah, also to start maybe when you are 10 or 9 to play table tennis and to be really good. So doing sport is the, is the, is the, a must, let's say. Yeah, just to get the feeling for your body, this coordination yeah. with balls to play, yeah. Darko, you started at five, so would you recommend to start at five yeah. years old? Yeah, of course, I would say also as soon as possible. Uh, you can see Asian players, they start even with four or even with, they are burning with racket, I think, inside. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, as soon as possible. All right. Horacio, what do you think? What is your opinion from the question from uh, Jasna Rada from uh, USA? Uh, I think same Darko. Uh, you, you must start the sooner as possible, you know? Uh, me, I started when I was 11 years old, so a little bit uh, later, <laughs> but okay. okay I, I, I would say seven years, something like this. Good. Okay, then uh, I think uh, Dominic, you have uh, you have more, right? Back to you, Dominic. Thank you very much, Massimo. Yeah, I do have. And uh, the next question is from Jonel. Um, he says, "Hi, everyone. Uh, he would uh, like to know if there is." Any, if there's been any unforgettable match so far, and uh, did you learn from that match? And I would like to start uh, with Darko. Is there any unforgettable match, and did you learn from it? Uh, it was against Paul Garel, I would say, quarterfinal, uh, when we won first European medal teams uh, for, uh, for Slovenia. Uh, I was... I think 16 or 17 years old. Uh, I was also 150 on the world ranking, not so top player, I would say. But yeah, like uh, it was a big moment for me to fight for a medal, for first medal for me also, uh, like a senior medal. And yeah, of course, I learned a lot uh, how to play these big matches, like important matches and uh, hope uh, in the future I will play more these big and important matches in my career. Yeah, I, I do remember this match. Oof, it was a tough match. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, what about you, Nina? I think my most important match was against Li Qian um, at the European Games 2019, the semi-final in the teams. It was like the score was 2-2 and I played the last match and she was a win and a European champion at this time or still and I never played again uh, before against her and that was also a close match but it was really important for our team that we can win the European Games to qualify directly to Tokyo and yeah, I won this match 3-2, I think 11-9 after I was down. And it just showed me that yeah, if you are fighting and keeping yeah, focus on the game, you can win every match. Thank you. Great statement. What about you, Horacio? Is there any unforgettable match? Uh, I will choose with Marcelo Aguirre in semi-final in Pan American Championships. I win 4-3. Uh, so this match, uh, I don't forget for sure. And uh, what, what did you learn from this match? Uh, I don't know. 
Ah, okay. So just you mean the emotions and and the feeling, yeah? Yes. Yeah, the okay. feeling. You know, this this is the more important. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And uh, what about you, Pritika? Um, I don't have uh, most important matches for the moment, but uh, in every matches I learn something. So yeah, every matches were important for me. So yeah, I think I have to be. Uh, I have to grow up if I want to have uh, a big match. I think or. Okay, so maybe there will uh, in the future an unforgettable match uh, arise. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And uh, I do think uh, you have a last question, Massimo. Yeah, one more and then, uh, yes. Uh, this is from Edwin Humphreys. Uh, I don't know from, uh, from where, but anyway. Uh, what do you players do outside of training or practice that helps you to enhance your game uh, and improve that you think gives you an advantage or edge over your opponent? Darko, you can start. So what do you think outside the, 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 the regular uh, training at the, in the venue? Do you do anything else that helps you to to perform better, maybe to, you know, to know better also your opponents? Uh, yeah, of course. I'm doing a lot of videos uh, uh, with my coach and, of course, physical preparation also uh, uh, with practice, of course. And, uh, yeah, when I have time, I'm always thinking about table tennis. Like I said, I like to watch videos when I'm free. Uh, for example, now when it was Corona time, I watched a lot of videos because uh, because I also missed the the table tennis, the matches, and everything. So this is what I'm doing uh, with practice, of course. Full time TT, 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 TT. Yes, yes. <laughs> Nina. Yeah, I'm totally different than Dakro in this point. I'm Finally. okay. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also doing like physical preparation and sometimes watching some videos for the matches. But for me, it's also really important to to go out of table tennis that I feel good, that I'm always feel motivated to play table tennis again. So I also enjoy it. Just yeah, to spend some time with my friends and outside the hall, they have nothing to do with table tennis. So. It's really easy. And then when I came back to the hall and to practice, I I feel better and more motivated. So it's, then it's better for me to keep the focus high and to yeah practice in a good good way. Good, good. Horacio. Yes, um, I think physical training is very important. Also, uh, psychology uh, is very important. And for me, food also, uh, uh, eat too many fruits or, or, or protein, you know, uh, and also sleep good. Okay, so last, uh, last words to the, to the youngest, Pritika, it's uh, for yeah, you for to me. conclude and then back to Dominic. <laughs> Uh, for me, it's the same like uh, Nina. I yeah, I have a, tra a physical tra training. Sometimes I also saw some game with my coach. And yeah, I need also to enjoy with my friends, with my family, to be to be good after for the training. And yeah, I think it's important to sometimes uh, go outside of the of table tennis. Good, very good. Okay, back to you, Dominic. Thank you very much, uh, Massimo. Uh, just a short summary. So all of us got to know how, how the way of, of uh, the athletes to the top was. And they had to sacrifice a lot in their childhood. But nevertheless, they enjoyed a lot and don't regret their pathway at all. They, they emphasized that they realized that they realized while getting older 
how important uh, the practice is to become a top player. They are also thinking a lot about their game, how to improve their game, how to read the opponent uh, better, and they are doing everything in an individual way to become a better player. All of them also agree that table tennis is very much uh, about psychology, but nevertheless, they mentioned that also the other main pillars shouldn't be neglected. Some of them want to stay in table tennis and hopefully they, they will do so for a very long time. To put it simple, they just love table tennis. And uh, with this, Nina, Darko, Predika and Horatio, we want to thank you very much for sharing your knowledge, your experience, although you are really quite young, but you have gained already a lot of it. Your thoughts, your advices, expertise, and of course, thank you for giving us so many interesting insights into your routines and your life. And uh, I also want uh, to thank all of you interest and attendance and I am looking forward to the ITTF uh, HPD info session tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central European Summer Time. Further information you can find on our ITTFeducation.com page under online events and schedule. And that's all from my side for today and I would like to pass over to a coach who really also loves and lives table tennis. So pass over to you Max and I kindly ask you for the closing words. Yeah, yeah, thank you all, thank you all, thank the attendees, thank the Dora on the back, uh, helping us, Dominic, uh, the panelists, uh, Nina, Pritika, Horacio, Darko, for this great time we spent together. Guys, you, you check them out uh, uh, soon because uh, you, you, you heard they are humble, they want to reach the top, so soon we will see them uh, in the top uh, of the tops, we hope and uh, look forward to for the next uh, uh, webinar thank you very much again guys have a good work back to the to the training hall with the family and so on thank you and ciao